Hi guys, Dave here, Dave's LFC Chats. I've got another legend on the show, another absolute legend. I'm absolutely delighted. Grizz from the LFC Day Trippers has arrived, is in the house. Welcome to the show, Grizz. Dave, it's an absolute pleasure, man. It's been way too long. Um, I, I thought you let, I thought I let you get the big boys out of the way first before I come <laughs> on. Listen, but absolute pleasure, pal. Thanks no, for no, having fair, me. No fair play for coming on. I know you're a super busy man, but so we get straight into it. Um, obviously, being Liverpool fans, we are in a bit of dreamland at the moment and have been for the last few seasons, to be fair. But what, what did you think of that 7 0 the weekend, Palace? I, I thought that was going to be a tough game, Chris. I had it down as 2 1 on a coupon. 7 0. It's the stuff of dreams being a Liverpool <laughs> fan right now, isn't it, Dave? Yeah. It's absolutely beautiful. It's like the perfect storm, the perfect dream. Supporting these Reds, you know, it's 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 been it's been uh, it's been emotional, but we finally got to the promised land last season, and we're just continuing, Dave. I mean, everything that's thrown at us, we're just swatting away. Injuries, COVID, you name it, we just keep swatting things away, and 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 lo and behold, we're running into sublime form at the right time. Yeah, absolutely. Speaking of sublime form, I, I was going to say. Bobby, no look for Mino. I mean, I know confidence is a lot with footballers in, in, in life, actually. In any, any uh, discipline, it's, it's important. But especially with footballers and strikers, it's all about scoring goals. No matter how well you play, you want to score a goal, especially if you're playing up front. Bobby's winner he got against Spurs. I just, you could see the energy in that goal. And then the weekend with two. I mean, it's great to see Bobby scoring again, isn't it? You know what? Um, we said on a on a trip of show um, when we found out that the um, crowds are going to be back in, even though it's only two thousand, and we thought Bobby. I mean, I personally definitely thought Bobby would come to life because Bobby's a showman, Dave. Bobby loves playing the game with a smile in his face, responds to that song of his, responds to the crowd, cheering his every touch. Because look. LFC fans are very, very knowledgeable, and they understand the role Bobby plays. You know, we don't have to look at his stats and his goals and whatever. We don't need that. But you're right. You're right. Bobby does because he's a striker, and it brings extra confidence. Um, and that's shown in his game, Dave. Take away the goals against Palace and and uh, Spurs. I thought his performance overall yeah. just, just, just top stuff, top stuff. And when Bobby plays well... You know, we know Liverpool play well. And he's the fulcrum of that attack. He's the he's the conductor. He's the link man. So, you know, a happy, smiling Bobby is good for LFC and it's good for himself, bless him as well. As you said, he's taken a bit of stick. Um, you know, there's no harm in questioning someone's form, but we know class is permanent, don't we? Yeah, absolutely. And it helps as well for the fact that Jota's been out for, he's going to be out for a few weeks, hopefully not too long, but it's great to have the three amigos. I mean, Mane's Mane. Mane will score goals. He's just hes just a nightmare. He wasn't happy coming off, of course, but that's the sign of the man. He just wanted to score. And then Mo, King Mo, we'll talk about him in a minute. We'll have our own minute about Mo, comes on and scores too. So the three amigos, when they score and get back into the groove, I think Liverpool mean Fine. business. Mean business, don't they? Oh, it's frightening. Um, poor Palace. Can you imagine how they must have felt? <laughs> four nil down, I think it was, or five nil, and then Mo Salah four, comes four, on. Four, wasn't it? Yeah. Four, four, and then Mo Salah's uh, <sighs> taking his tracks at bottom of and about to come on. I mean, it just shows you the strength we've got at the moment, Dave. Um, especially in those forward and midfield positions. I know, you know, we've got centre backs uh, missing, and that's an issue, but. We're very strong, especially in, in, in the top area now, especially with the Jota. Unfortunately, just the way our luck's going, he's got injured this season. Um, but it's, 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 I think it's raised the, the levels of Bobby, you know, we, as we spoke about, and Mane and Mo. And if all three of them click, Dave, I, I just don't see how anyone stops us. Do you know what I mean? It's, yeah. If one, yeah. If, if, you know, you, you know, if one doesn't get you, the other one definitely will, you know, and long may it continue. Yeah, absolutely. And speaking about continuing, I know there was a bit of stuff about Mo midweek, about some, some interview he did in Spain. or so. I think it's bullshit. But anyway, what do you think of Mo? I mean, his, his numbers speak for themselves. Well, I was just looking at his Premier League goals alone. That, never mind Champions League. Or 133 games, 88 goals, 
32 assists. This this is crazy stuff. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. There's no other word. There's no other way of describing him, is there? There's um, we, we were truly going to realise what a phenomenon he was when when he's no longer with us. Exactly. And it's, it's always the case, Dave. When 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 um, when someone's you know when someone is not there anymore, then you realise and you reminisce and you recall and you think, wow. I mean, how how for granted do we take that? You know, he's he's a phenomenal goal scorer. I mean, you know, after Messi and Ronaldo, you know, he's in that category of just being unplayable one on his day, and you just can't, you know, you just can't understand anyone not sort of lashing praise on him because he's he's an absolute model on and off the pitch, and he's just a prime example of a, a modern day sportsman look who looks after himself and. He loves playing for Liverpool, and it shows. It shows in his passion. You know, he's he's a passionate, he's a passionate player, and 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 you know, and he, all these accolades and that you know, he deserves every single one day. Yeah, absolutely. I I think he'll get. I think he could get thirty plus this season. Premier League goals. Um, yeah. Hopefully. See, well, he's on track. He's on, he's, he's on track. He's on track. Definitely. Um. You know, someone was telling me he's on track. Even when he got his record season, he's 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 ahead of the ahead of that schedule already. So I you know, long may continue. I seen a nice little piece you had today on Twitter actually. Um, talking about uh, Liverpool as a team and Klopp as the manager. Klopp is the main man. Klopp is the general, basically. And, I mean, players come and go, you know, it happens through history. Well, I remember when Fowler left. I remember when Owen left. When even Ian Rush left, going back, you always think, oh, no, we're never going to get a yeah. player like that again. And it just happens. It's life. It's continual. And same thing will happen if one of the guys, hopefully don't, maybe in the summertime. But, you know, I, I just think... Be happy in the position we're in. Be happy in the space we're in at the moment. And enjoy it, because it doesn't happen. You know what I mean? We, yeah, were, I mean, the, that... we were in the wilderness for a, a long time. And now, yeah. all of a sudden, we are the kings. Yeah, I mean, that was my, 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 the purpose of my tweet was like, you know, I saw so much panic and worry and fear set in about sort of, you know, what's going to happen if Mo goes or what's, you know, what happens. And, you know, and I'm of the opinion, as long as Jurgen Klopp is there, that's all I'm interested in. Great players come and great players go and they are all great. Every single one of those Liverpool players, in my opinion, is a great player. They brought the two happiest years of my life, the Champions League win and the league win absolutely legends as far as I'm concerned. And, you know, look, every team comes to an end of an era, you know, and, and this one will as well, Dave. You know, it's, it's it's natural. It is what it is. They've kind of peaked together kind of thing. And you don't want the team to age together as well, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Um, you know, like, like Man City, for example, they age together and now they're sort of stale. in a bit of a... They're stale. <laughs> a, yeah, they're going a bit stale. So you don't want Liverpool to go stale, and I trust the process, and I trust yeah. the the people in charge to, if one of the three amigos, you know, was to leave, you know, we'd carry on, yeah. um, you know, and that's all it is, and and cherish the moment, as you said, we're never gonna have the likes of these again, and 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 the and the sort of the joy that they've brought us for the last two seasons, and you know, we take it for granted. It's yeah. it's mental. It's mad. If we look back on the last couple of seasons, it's it's record breaking. It's phenomenal. We're on cloud nine, Dave, and you yeah, know, we should just absolutely. cherish the moment. Yeah. And I mean, to be honest, um, I did a video recently with uh, James Pierce and I was asking him about COVID. I, I think this has actually brought a lot of fans, never mind Liverpool, Premier League fans, football fans, through COVID. I mean, you felt that when it, there was no football in March and April, and May, I really felt, and I'm sure you did, but the football and sport can bring you through times like this. No, of course it does. Of course it does. Uh, just sport in general, it's 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 what a lot of people live for. You know, it's yeah. their joy, it's their pastime, it's their habit, it's their you know innocent habit, I should say. It's it's magnificent. It's a sport is a wonderful thing. It brings. You know, people from all walks of life, all races, all colours, all sexes, everything. Yeah. It's, it's amazing. And, you know, the thought of no football, the thought of no sport, you know, can be pretty depressing for a lot of people. Um, Absolutely. And, then, you know, this year has been traumatic to say the least. But, 
you know, we had a we had a patch where there was no football, and you know, a lot of my friends as well, Dave. You know, very depressed, very sad. You got to remember, out of work, nothing yeah. to, you know, yeah. no, no, yeah. no hobbies, no nothing. But thankfully, we're back. Uh, thankfully, fingers crossed, and everything. Football doesn't get disrupted, and um, you know, the, the hopefully, hopefully, surely, slowly but surely, the crowds are fully back in, and then we can go again. Absolutely. And just before you go, Grizz, um, Hendo last night, uh, second place, I think, in the BBC Sports Personality of the Year. I thought he was going to win it. Oh, it was up against Hamilton, I suppose, always. But I mean, he's had a, he's had a, a phenomenal few years, Henderson, hasn't he? He's come oh, on. I, mean, he, oh, I yeah. mean, the stick he used to get, and he still gets stick, to be honest. I've seen it on Twitter from idiots. He gets stick. But this well, guy is just wow. Yeah, he's, 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 he's an example to sort of any player. Um, you know, that is sort of maybe possibly struggling at his club to stick in there, you know, and to show what people, to show people what you're worth, really, you know, let the talent do the talking, I say, you know, never moan, never groan, you never see him have spats with fans or anything online or anything like that, even though he's got the most, one of the, you know, he's one of the most abused players he was. And yeah. now, Dave, if you see anyone trolling him or saying anything or, you know, trying to discredit him with any accolades or anything, you just laugh, you just loll at them, and you think, oh, you're a, <laughs> you're, a, you're an absolute loon. You know, listen to the people that know, listen to the people that work with him day in day out, play with him, coach him, train with him, everything, and you know, listen to the experts. And Jurgen Klopp's the biggest expert I know. You know, I don't yeah, know absolutely. about you. You know, Jurgen Klopp's the biggest expert I know. I've yeah. I've heard about, I've read about it because he manages the greatest football team in the world, and yeah. that's my Liverpool. And if he says yeah, uh, the things he said about Hendo, then who the f are we, you know, to absolutely to put a judgment on him and on, on Hendo? So, you know, praise to Hendo, man. Pray, Hendo is an absolute wonderful human being as well. He's shown as well. Proof, you know, not many people have seen that side to him as well. He's matured as a human, and he's matured on the pitch as well. I couldn't, I could, you know, I, could, I hate seeing a Liverpool team with him not in it, and that's yeah, that's no, great. yeah, it makes a difference. Yeah, it absolutely. And he does a lot for charity, which a lot of people wouldn't know. Behind wonderful the guy. Yeah. Right, Grizz, I'll tell you what, I know you're a busy man. I'm going to let you go. We'll maybe do another one in the new year. Anytime, um, bro, anytime. Check out LFC Day Trippers, and of course, Canage is the one to check out. Thank you very much, Grizz. Stay safe. Enjoy the holidays. I'll talk to you soon, bro. No problem, pal. No problem. Cheers. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.